Well, good morning. It's Friday morning. Buddy and I are in the shop. Uh, his mom and his sister are off to town. We're gonna pick up some groceries and check out some uh, stuff for the cabinets and stuff for the new house. Um, we are, uh, what are we fixing, buddy? Uh, the backhoe. We're fixing the backhoe. So this, uh, this lever here is uh, how you lock in the boom when you're in traveling. So it doesn't flop around and that broke off. There's also a couple things in the cab. Uh, obviously this is a 1981, so she's not mint. Uh, so a few things are wearing out. Those little rollers up there that slide the back window down. One of those is actually cracked and broke, so it falls down. So we're gonna do that today. It's not too bad outside. It's only about minus five. It was foggy as, as heck yesterday, but it's pretty, uh, Pretty nice out there yet today. Saturday morning, yesterday, Buddy and I, we did a bit of work in the shop. Corey and Emmy took off to town. So, uh, but today's everybody's here, all hands on deck. What we're gonna do today is try to separate our peas and canola. All right, well, things are progressing fairly well. Buddy's driving us back up there. We got our ladder, we got our power cords, we got, uh, We got the, uh, the wagon set up. We fished one of our tandem grain trucks out of the shed. So what we'll do is we'll let the peas go into the tandem. The canola will fall into the wagon. We'll have to grab another auger and another truck to haul the canola away. And uh, but we should be able to get set up here right away and get going. And uh, it's pretty exciting. So. so one thing we didn't plan out this fall was we put it in the farthest bin away from power aside from all those bins. So those bins don't have any aeration fans in them, don't have any power. All these bins here, with the exception of this one, I believe, can have aeration fans in them. So there's power all over behind them. But this is the farthest bin away. So you can see we need tons of extension cords. Well, what a beautiful evening. So I've been cleaning my peas all day. Uh, I just got everything shut down, or at least separating them. I shouldn't call them cleaning. I'll uh, explain that here in a sec. So this is uh, this is the setup. Uh, this is uh, Dad and I's brainchild of a uh, of a cleaner. A couple years in the making, actually, of figuring out what was going to work for us. Very top heavy, so we don't drag it around that much. But uh, <clears throat> we fabbed up a roof and everything for it. So bin full of peas and canola mix. Auger into whatever you call this. The drum up there spins. The peas go. They're too big, so they go. They stay in the drum and they go out into that tandem truck. The canola falls through into this wagon. Got an auger set up here to auger the canola into another truck. Uh, there's a little bit of a mess around it. That's uh, <clears throat> just kind of par for the course, but uh, I'll shovel all that up and feed it to the chickens so it don't go to waste either. Now up here, we had to build it this high so we could get it to uh, get the trucks under it or else it was just a fight all the time. So <clears throat> that's what the drum looks like. Very simple, um, really big holes. The canola and, and everything else falls through very easily. 
and the peas, they stay in it to go out the chute. There's a fan at that end. You can turn it on if you got lighter stuff you want to blow out. Add some wind to it, and uh, it's been going very, very well. So I've already knocked out four loads of peas and uh, a load of canola. So this is the uh, a long, a long awaited process of, uh, of how that goes. I know there were some people interested in it from in the fall when I made a video of uh, growing the uh, the two crops together. So we certainly didn't uh, didn't pioneer that. Lots of uh, lots of people have tried it. Some people kind of stuck with it. Some people uh, didn't. Most people, I would say, think it's kind of crazy and they wonder why you would do it because, uh, <clears throat> yeah, well, canola is kind of a like a weed crop when it grows and snuffs out the peas. Peas aren't really that competitive, but what we found, and I'll just, I'll just upload that video. I explained this all before. What we found is where one is doing poor, the other one will do good. Um, if you have really wet year where the peas suffer quite a bit, then the canola will just take over. Uh, if you have a year where it's a little bit drier and the canola suffers, the peas will just do, do whatever. And uh, you'll go, you'll go around and around like that. So we've been beat pretty good a couple of years on this, but we've done very, very well a few years on it as well. Uh, this looks like it's going to be 60, 70% peas and uh, 30, 40% canola. So we got set up over there with the tractor and the swing auger. We're dumping the peas into that uh, bin over there. So the peas still have to get cleaned. So everything, all the big weed seeds, all the chaff, all the other stuff goes out with the peas. This is not a cleaner. This is just separating them. We do have our own cleaner in that shed right there, but we've found we can't do a very good job on the peas because that is all augers. There's vertical augers and horizontal augers and everything else. And uh, if you're not running the augers right full, it seems to just grind the peas into, <clears throat> into mush and of course a ground up pea won't grow. So what we do, we separate it here and then we'll haul it to the seed cleaning plant. Seed cleaning plant charges you by the bushel. So if you haul them a bunch of extra canola and stuff in there, you'll uh, you'll have twice the cleaning bill as if you just haul them the peas. So, so now she's up and running. You get the peas out this end. And all the canola will drop through along with the uh, all the weed seeds and stuff. So we'll have to look at the canola when we're done and see if it's worthwhile cleaning again. But there's also a fan to blow air through that and that will blow all the light material out. But I'm not gonna worry about that. There's a lot of peas, wow.
it's unreal like canola is such a fine seed that uh, any little crack it'll find its way out but that won't go to waste I'll scoop that up at the end every night here and take it down give it to Corey's chickens they'll like the the bit of peas and the bit of canola It is, uh, what, it's 6.30 now, so I'm going to go have supper. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.